There's three passions in my life. My boyfriend, getting a curse tape, and cereal straw. <laughs> I already got a boyfriend. I'm never getting a curse tape. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Welcome to episode 10. This is episode 10. Hello. So, why were you so muffled? Uh, I think my thing went at my neck because I'm like laying on my side and playing Mario World. <laughs> yep, you heard it here, folks. It's as right. if the gods of the 2000s had ascended upon our world uh, and took a break this. from the I... oh, Sorry, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Go on. It's like the gods of the 2000s were done making hypercam videos on how to hack Club Penguin and took a break from all the Wii boxing and copies of SpongeBob Globs of Doom. And then they were saying, Lord, let us have them cereal straws back. Coming back I, this autumn. First of all, I called this. First I of called all, it's Nicktoons Globs of Doom, not SpongeBob Globs of Doom. Okay, but I called it when, um, 3D Doritos came, or it's pop as called as token the phrase 3D. I don't know why I just said it like 3D. 3D. I can't even say it. They're called 3D Doritos. 3D Doritos. I can't can't say it. Wait. 3D Doritos. Dorito. 3 Dorito. Okay, there we go. I couldn't say Dorito. Um, when I saw those, I'm like, okay, cereal straws are next. They have to be next. They have to be next. And they were next because they're coming back in October. I'm so excited. Oh, can you, you imagine? Know but what if? But what if people buy them in bulk that. and they get scalped? I will. Bu- I swear to God, I'll pay a hundred dollars for a box of cereal straws. I am desperate. It's been twelve years. I'm desperate. Legitimately? No. Oh, Where's my Walmart? Oh. I'm gonna get my Walmart. I'm gonna what's your town? What's the max you'd pay? Twenty-five dollars. Oh, you're not committed now then. Now that I think about it. They could also make for great cake decorations. Think about it. You okay, can chop up the. Fr- you you up are the a monster. Ones. You're a Just monster. saying, you can make, you can make like little, like little Fruit Loop themed cakes. Make like a little, make them into the chimneys of a gingerbread house. You are house. worse than those articles who are like, oh, cereal straws are coming back, but then it's just cereal, then it's just Fruit Loops stacked off top of each other with frosting. <laughs> Terrible. Hey, what about Terrible what articles. about what about what about Starbucks cookie straws? I swear to God, that's not that's, that's a cookie. That's that, not cereal. I swear to God, those are kind of good. Those are kind of those are kind of good though. What are, what's one like cookie straw thing that comes in a little metal tin? I don't know. Because I remember I saw those and I was like, wait a minute, this is just this is just worse cereal no. straws. Uh, I'm playing Mario World in the background, so that's why you're gonna hear me making weird noises. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What? <laughs> <Yoshi. laughs> Yoshi got shot of a cannon and jumped off Yoshi. And he just went gliding off into like a cliff. That was amazing. Okay. That's what we okay. call that's what we call a double Yoshi explosion. Okay, so I have to say this. I have to bring up the fact that I uh this is another trademark kit rant, I guess. I hate the US Postal Service, right? Okay. Yes. I bought a, a Cars Life tape, not a Cars tape, but a Cars Life, the bootleg movie, a VHS of it, because I thought, you know, haha, funny, it's a bootleg of a Cars tape. That's really, that's funny, you know, to have. It was like, it was like $3, you know, start, it was like a $3 starting bid, then $3 shipping, I'm like, cool, I'll, I'll take it. It arrives, right, and it comes in the mail, and it is, not kidding here, it is bent to the point where it looks like someone just took a hammer and just slapped it with it. And, and there's a little, you can see the little roller that the tape goes on is in the, the window of it. So that was great. And VHSs don't naturally curve like that. <laughs> yeah. Does it still I, get the VCR? I haven't put it in my VCR because I only got like one VCR, surprisingly. Well, I got two, but I don't want, that was my rewinding one. But uh, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the tape because it's more of a display piece anyways. But at the same time, it's like, and some people might be like, oh, I might have been the seller. No, it probably was. My guess is that it probably wasn't. There was no tape. The pictures of the actual tape, but it didn't look bent to me in the pictures. And U.S. Postal Service has crushed things before in the past that I've sent people. So, yeah. Like no, I sent Pop. Fairness, right? I sent. It, it, I sent Pop. I sent Pop a stocking, right? Like filled with a bunch yeah. of stuff for Christmas. 
And I had like yep. okay, so they had these they have these like plastic candy canes, right? That you like they fill up with like candy or whatever. There's a kind of tradition in my house that we like put those in like as talking, and I did that with him because you know like you know I want to do that tradition with him because I'm sending him something. And then um, when it got to him, it was completely destroyed. Yeah, because it had gotten crushed it was or shattered. Something. It it was it was <laughs> it was shattered, and there was like little, and then in the inside the stocking there was uh like the little Hershey, the little Hershey M and M just in there because it was shattered, and like little bits of uh plastic shards How in there. Shatter plastic? That sounds horrifying. Oh, it was a, it's a weak oh, plastic. And, oh, and also um like that like, like little I, Lion King. That like Lion I used to King beat the heck out of my sister with those things. We used to hit each other with the candy cane toys. The, the, you, you sent me a lion, like a Lion King Pez, and mm-hmm. the box of the Lion King Pez was just absolutely just pulverized. <laughs> but I was gonna keep wow. it in the box because it looks super nice in the box. But no, nope, yeah, it, it was looks just really nice in the box. Ruined. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the US Postal so, Service yeah, um, for you. And then, and then. Okay, you guys talk about your um, persona, how that came. Well, it wasn't it 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 wasn't that bad. It was just the only thing that was wrong with it was there's like on the it, it, on the di- like when you like uh like the little opener part on it is like slightly chipped and mm-hmm. uh. The disc, the disc was loose inside the case, even though it was sealed. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> weird. I just love how the United States Postal Service is just awful. The official postal service for the entire country. It's just awful. <laughs> yeah, you would expect from the third party ones, like 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 UPS or something to do that. that. I, I, this I, is I why. This is why I'm glad I'm... Amazon has their own um, service because I'm in the middle of like, well, <clears throat> by the time this comes out, I'll have most of the parts, but you know, um, I'm ordering PC parts to build a PC so I can edit videos and and like for college and everything, you know. And I'm glad Amazon has their own like service. Otherwise, God, I would, ah, oh, God, all those parts would have been destroyed. <laughs> Jeez, they're just everything's just broken. Like your yeah. casing, your like oh. casing, your PC is just cracked. I have another rant. I have another rant. Okay, Amazon, right? I have Prime. Mm-hmm. I have Prime. Yeah. And what What is the benefit of Prime? You know, two day shipping. Then why is everything I order with Prime take a week to get here, or to the post office or whatever? Like, I don't get that. Well, hey, it's worth it if you want to see Welcome to America. Well, I get why it's, like, slow right now. So, what what does Amazon Prime have? Stuff coming for your 40, like, a 40-year-old mom to watch? I don't know. Amazon Prime, the streaming service the streaming service that you got your shoes from. (laughs) Would you... Speaking they they, of, okay, have, so they have like where's SpongeBob, you? but so does Paramount Plus. <laughs> yeah, you have to fuse your Paramount Plus with uh, Amazon, I think. They don't. Wait, what? really? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I can... <laughs> yeah. I stole, I stole Kit Kit's Amazon account. I have it on my Roku. I mean, what? And I have it's a Paramount true. Plus that I, that I, I, I. I, I Totally didn't beg out of him. Woman, I gave it to you because I was like, "Here, you want this?" And you're like, "Sure." We gotta, we yep. gotta make, we gotta make artificial me, conflict, but... okay? We gotta, we have a plot me, here. I uh, decided not to, not to get it because the only thing I'd be watching is Camp Coral. Why would you watch that, Kendi? Why would you watch? Why are you? Why are you? The first episode yeah, wasn't well, awful, but it like a, it goes like off the rails after the second or something. Yeah, me and Pop watched it. I the think first they episode. jumped the shark as soon as they made Kid Ferratu a character. No, they jumped the shark when they made that one tan guy a character. 
Oh, the Truman Show's on here. Yeah. Okay. So I never. I, okay. So I got to tell you, this. back in high school, right? I at lunch I would watch Netflix. Back when I actually liked Netflix, and I saw the Truman Show, right? And I, I just, I, I just saw. I just, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't know anything about this. I just saw it's Jim Carrey, and he finds out his life is a TV show. I'm thinking like, oh my God, that sounds hilarious. Let's watch it. <laughs> and then I well, watch it, difference. right? And then I watch it, but. Wait, what is this? But Wait, you go through an existential crisis? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, is my this? life really just a TV show? <laughs> hey, honestly, that's, that's an official phobia. I think it's called like mm-hmm. Trumanophobia or something, where it's where it's it, it spawned from that movie where you think that your whole life is just being set up. Yeah, psychologists even have a thing where uh, they diagnose a mental illness with people who think they're shit. Their life is just a show. There's also huh. one people okay. think their life is just a video <clears throat> game. It's it's the same thing, basically. I have never noticed. I've never I heard anybody talk about this. It's called SpongeBob DocuPants. It's a like um I saw Amazon Prime video. It's classic Sponge. It says imagine classic SpongeBob moments being told through the lens of a documentary. That sounds cool. Okay, so so um if you haven't wa- if if you haven't watched it, I know me and Kit did, but. You should watch uh, what's it called, a uh, square pants or whatever. Um, square root, square root, square. It's such it was such a good documentary. My mm-hmm. name is Plankton. Okay, I will never get over the look of Stephen Hillenburg's face at the prim- at like at like the part like the part like they had like a party at a bar. Yeah, it was like a premiere of, party. Like, when SpongeBob premiered. <laughs> He looks so genuinely happy. What a great guy. <laughs> what a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 hope, I hope nothing comes out about Steven Hoverberg. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. The dude was a marine biologist. Mm-hmm. What? They, you guys, they, don't um... have, they don't have time for foolishness. But you do, but, apparently you do, Gindy. But SpongeBob is about tomfoolery. But it. And nautical Spon- nonsense. SpongeBob is different. Wish. You're different. Ooh. Ooh, classic Thomas. Are these restored or like, what do these look like? I wonder. Um, the <laughs> heck? Oh, look at I God, that's not. Oh my God, that's not restored. That's like freaking worse than DVD quality there. It's like a weird middle ground between DVD and VHS. There are literal, like, restored versions on YouTube, like... What is it, like, video now? What? How could... I have a question, I'm just Kit. Say- yeah. How come you uploaded a theme song to, like, the latest Thomas show at the time? And people upload entire people episodes and they stay up for years? Yeah, they stay, they stay up, because, they stay up. Because, um, the episodes didn't have the music. I had the music, and that was at the time Mattel was really, really cracking down on people what do you talking mean you about. Watched it uh, today? People were really talking about and talk, they were, Mattel was really cracking down at the time on Big World Big Adventure. People uploading it, but now they don't care. How how bad that show do? Uh, Only so well, bad they had to redo the Mattel, whole style. No, no, Mattel. Okay, this is what it is. Okay, Mattel is like, huh? Thomas isn't working. Hmm. Let's just rerun the entire show. You know, not. Not make better toys. Let's uh, you know, make it to where you know it's actually more like uh, what is it? We don't push marketing in it or anything. Let's just let's put it on Nick Jr., which is a page show, a page channel, right? At a terrible time slot for the new episodes and everything. And then they and then they're like, let's just have Thomas go around the world and just be anything but a train, you know? How a train go around just, the world? Because he's he's going all to all these different countries. And he's like, hey, and uh, he's the narrator your too. Soul and was like that kind of. Church your soul was not like that. No, 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 not like Big World Big Adventure. I swear to God, Guinea, I'll literally cool. attack you. That's what Choo Choo. That's what's called Choo Choo Soul. They should have put Thomas on Netflix. I see- like, I, like I, as much as I don't like Netflix, they should have put him. On, they should have put it on Netflix. Like. Ages ago, and I'm pretty sure the the reboot is coming out on Netflix and Cartoon Network because Cartoon Network's gonna have their own block of 
Okay, probably. you know what irritated me with Wait, Netflix? Like, like tickle you? Yeah. You know what irritated oh, me with Netflix? Hmm. What? Okay. Like ten year like like maybe like two thousand thirteen or so or like twenty like twenty twelve, I don't know. But like ten, around ten years ago. That Invader Zim on Netflix. We watched, oh, yeah. I watched all of Invader Zim. And then they took to all of Invader Zim off of Netflix. Then they put they they made they um put into the Florpus on Netflix, put up Invader Zim, the full series, and then removed it again, even though they have an entire special. <laughs> I think that might be because um Hulu has the rights for the streaming. I uh watched Invader wow. Zim on my dad's Xbox three sixty back then. Blockbuster, um, or not Blockbuster, I was, um, I, was, I was watching on, uh, Wii. <laughs> oh, nice. Did you have the disc, mm-hmm. or, uh, did you get the digital version? It was the digital. I want, I want the disc. They're, like, they're like, they're like $5 on eBay, though. So, I don't really, like, feel, and I don't I feel like... I want the PS2 di- Netflix disc. I want the Wii disc, right? But I don't want it to come in the mail and just be shattered. Because it's, you know, <laughs> the United States Postal Service. In Brazil, they put Netflix on the PS2 with the disc. PS2 could actually access the internet, but barely any games. <coughs> so open GameCube. Like, <coughs> um, some of the only one of the only ones on PS2 was uh, you could do access online one was was with some of the Madden games, and some of the only ones on GameCube you could do online with was uh, Fantasy Star. I yeah. know that Stockham but, worked on the PS2's online. Yeah. Broadband. I hardly knew her. What? Because <laughs> that broadband internet, that's what uh, they used back then. I don't get the joke. I don't know. Pop's really innocent. Like... Well, like I'll say, like I'll say, like a pun or something. He just does not get it, and it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Now, Pop may know a lot of there. things, but what he doesn't know might end up killing him or the people that he cares about. <gasps> oh no, they're already dead. Oh, relax, what? Pop. It's supposed to be a comedy podcast. <gasps> this is comedy. This is really like what a comedy. This is a Greek tragedy. Yeah, but it's funny in podcast. some sixth sense way because some of these people were uh, a little bit sketchy. Also, you know Seth feel- Rogen is there. I mean, you want, they got like three what? viewers to actually watch this. To be honest, you're well, not really cares. Well, at we got those three, those three fans. Hey. Yeah, shout, hey. Out, shout out to those three people. <laughs> we love you. You never know. We could make Please. it big. Among Please Us took two best. years to make big. I've had my channel for almost 10 years, Gendy. Among Us. Among Us. Ooh, maybe we could do an ARG to get more views. I've actually thought about, um... 557734342. Gendy, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> I actually thought about doing, um... Of, like, okay, there was a couple... There's two things I want to do, really do someday. Um, I want to make a kid's channel and see how far I can go with it, like, with growth. Just, like, Please do like it. an experiment. I mean, I was gonna a while ago, but I just, I don't know, I just kind of dropped the con- the idea. I might bring it back. But, um, and then I also want to just, like, I wish my VHS camera actually worked. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I-, I thought about, like, recording, like, making some weird puppet and doing a recording video on a VHS camera and then uploading it to YouTube. And just make it like some like weird creep pasta kind of video, you know? An ARG, you mean? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I was actually thinking about that right when we started this. Like, like, it's like, Gindy, it's like, Gindy wanted to do, Gindy wanted to do an ARG. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, what if we just did that with Gindy? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna play Mario World more. <laughs> Back, Back to the Mario. Back to Mario. Mario, yeah. My, my, cartridge, my cartridge is so weird. 
Okay, my cartridge, right? You should have thrown I've it! Had, I've, had this, I've had this Mario World since I was a kid, right? It was my sister's older brother, <laughs> don't question that. Um, sister's older brother. Yeah, we have different dads, that's why. <laughs> but, um... So, it went, as a kid, it would never save, so I only went past, I never really went past First Castle that much. Because it didn't save. Because by that point, I was a kid. I had a short attention span back then. And I would stop caring. So I'd turn off the console, and it wouldn't save. So, it, I wanted to play it again, right? Uh, a while ago, I wanted to play it again. And it just would not turn on. And I watched a video where some guy just in passing said that when an N64 game didn't work, he would just like throw it at the wall, and it would work. Right? Yikes. So... I had hardwood floors. I just I just dropped it from like chest level onto the ground, and it turns on. I'm like, cool, I can play it again. I go to press start, and it has a save on it. Oh. After, after years of not saving, and it's been saving ever since, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy because uh, I then, actually played play this game. They're actually being and then the it game working again. And it wasn't working again, and me and Kit were on um, were on the voice call. And it's like, it's not working, and it was like, I was like, he's like, throw it. <laughs> throw it again. And yeah, he no, did, did it, and, and then it cracked it or whatever, right? Yeah, Yikes. I'm chipping it now. There's a slight chip in it, but it's not noticeable. I remember you were so upset. When I said it to you, it was a joke, <laughs> and you just did yeah. it. You just spiked it. <laughs> like a GameCube controller. Yay. Who spiked your GameCube controller? Who killed Gendy? Neptune. In revenge. Maybe. Revenge. Maybe he did. Oh, yeah. How is old Neppy? Neppy? What? <laughs> Who the frick is that? You just said his name. My god, Who? there are ghosts all around me. <gasps> Not the ghosts! <laughs> Call the ghosts! Oh, I died. I don't do how'd you die? Do wait, how, wait, how'd you die from touching a ghost? You just go right through it. Oh, shoot. You're right. Ah, crap. I only have one life. Ah, I meant to get more lives. No. Go get life. I can't. I'm already in the game. I'm already in the world, the, the level. I just can't. I gotta beat it this time. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a game over and I have to restart my, uh... I have to go through the illusion of the forest. Forest of Illusion again, I think. I don't ah, know. Illusion of Force. The Force. Of the Illusion of Force. The Force of Illusion. Ah. Nah, As they call over. it, the Illusion Forest. The game over. I bet the, we will have a duel. Anyway. Continue. Why does it can't why you, are, can't you why you sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain? Oh, I just gotta go chocolate out of one, okay? I, was, I, was, I just gotta go to the level right before it. Oh, I hate this one! <laughs> Yugi, you do realize all you have to do is bend your blue eyes white dragon in half. My Yugi cardboard. doesn't use the blue eyes white dragon, Kaiba does! Oh no! Oh no! Yugi doesn't um, have um, the blue um, eyes um, white dragon. Um, um, purple maze lady, uh, her name is Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girl. And Dragonoid. That's... It's Bakugan. Pika? Do, 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 do you guys remember, like, when you were a kid no. and, like... Oh. Uh, <laughs> you guys remember when, do you guys remember when you were a kid and there would be, like, all these, like, animes and stuff? And like, like adult, like adults will like purposely say them wrong, like just to annoy, just to annoy, just to annoy the kids. It would. It uh, was. Yeah. It was Pokemon. Pokemon. Bakugan I, was Baktagon. Yugi Yu Gi Oh was. Uh, I don't know what Yu Gi Oh because I didn't. I didn't really have. Wasn't really much Yu Gi Oh when I um when I was a kid. My stepdad, stepmom, I guess that's my step step grandma or something. I don't know. She says Pokemans, like, unironically, and it drives me crazy. My dad says, poke your mom. I'm not gonna poke my mom. Poke what did she do to me? 
Fuck in the eye. Me? Well, she birthed you, and then that led to salad. What? We can't. <laughs> what? I said nothing. I said nothing. Yes. Hello? So Mario World's really which, fun. Which rhymes with Dallas, <laughs> which is backwards for Dallas. Hush, I'm, editing that. I'm editing that out. Hush. <laughs> it's backwards editing what out? Dallas. Fun. I e. So Mario World's fun. I swear to God, everyone else said it. Mean, shh. Okay, go ahead. Start talking now. Yo, what's poppin'? Dallas. One of the cities in, uh... I, I don't know what I was Texas? going with this. Te Texas, yeah. What, can the, I never know where you're going with anything. You just kind of start talking, Gendy, and I just kind of zone out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just, just emotionally it's devastated, Gendy, like that. It's a joke. Hey, hey, it's uh -huh. all right. Just like, just like your, just like your friendship with Gendy. What? Mm -hmm. He agreed. You're yeah, tearing this family apart. Gindy, Gindy, you're tearing this family apart. My God. I am not. <laughs> Gindy Mr. Took Electric, the kids. send him to the principal's office and having him expelled. I'm the teacher. I know everything, and you know nothing. Oh my God, George Lopez is mad. <laughs> George Lopez, I'm here, and, and my show is terrible. Just in the night, you just hear. <laughs> Yeah. Don't do that. Anyway. I hate this level. I hate this level. I hate all these levels. Beyond the first like couple of levels, I hate them. I died again. You say it's your favorite game, but you hate it? No, that's not my favorite game. My favorite game is Soul Silver, bro. Oh, you lied. Gindy's favorite game lie? is Gindy's favorite game is uh let me guess, Gandy, don't say it. <gasps> the nerf game for Wii. Nah, Minecraft. Though I do just really love basic. Pokemon Go. It just assumes that your favorite game is my, is a nerf game. That's racist. But, no, it isn't. I, I want nerf to play the nerf game, but I can't, I can't find that nerf gun anywhere. Literally, you just like make a 3D print one, I swear to God. No, attach it's it here. Not attach thing. it here. Attach it. Attach a wee, duct tape a weed mope to one of your Nerf guns. Mm -hmm. No, no. The game uses like a little trigger thing. You gotta. You. All right. So you take the mechanisms and the gears out of the Nerf gun, and then you put the Wii mode in it, and then the trigger on the Nerf gun pushes the B button. You just press the B button. And there's also, there are parts in the game where you have to use the sight on the gun so that you can, uh, see secrets. Oh, neat. Was it actually a user one, Erfka? Yeah, yeah. You could, uh, put the gear, you could put the mechanism back in and fire it if you wanted to. And it even came with three whistle darts. That's wild. They go like, I read. Oh, it's more like a... Like a what? <laughs> there was no noise. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoa! That sounded like that sounded like a, that's a, that's a, that sounded like a, a sound effect from like a uh, PC point and click game. Do it again. <laughs> ah! Please don't. Did you really do that? that? Did you really do that? To the, I listened to these in the car to help me with my anxiety. <gasps> don't get anxiety, Gendy. Gendy. Hello, future Gendy. Don't get, don't get anxiety. Don't, uh oh, don't do that bird's get, getting, get, that bird's getting pretty close, isn't it? Gendy, get behind you. Get behind you. you. Wait, wait a minute. You guys wait a minute. really want me to die of a heart attack in the car? Wait a minute well, here. The, well, not in the car, but what? You said we have three, we have three viewers. You realize mm -hmm. Gendy is one of those viewers, and I clicked the video to make sure that it's up. So two of those viewers oh. are, 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 are me and Gendy. Are you mean Gendy? We have one viewer. Wow. 
<laughs> hey, hey, we've got, we've, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> the screen. If you are listening to this, please share it to other people. Please subscribe. Share, to me. share, share. Please subscribe. I, I'm, I'm, I'm desperate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna be like, well, if you want to subscribe, now I'm forcing you to subscribe. Subscribe. If you literally have to subscribe. Right if you're, now. if you're here, if you're listening to this right now, you are legally obligated to subscribe. And if we make it to ten thousand followers, I'm giving away a Nintendo gift card. What are you talking about, Gendy? We don't have followers. We don't even have subscribers. It's my channel too. Yeah, but I want to help out any That's way I good. can. Ten thousand. Ten thousand okay. subscribers, and I'll give out a ten dollar Nintendo card. Can I have it? I have. <laughs> Remember, share, 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 and trolls don't get blocked. Nineteen dollar Fortnite card. Who wants it? Whoa! Whoa! Ah, I heard ghost ah. He's going to die. He's going to die. Whoa. I died. I He's died. not going I to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Smart boy, me, Bob. I remember those on Academy. They're going to die. Bun, <laughs> Bob, yeah. me, boy. Bun, boy, me, Bob. Ah. 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 <laughs> yeah, see, the problem is when I ever try to do a gravelly voice, yeah, it just turns into Grunkle Stan like that. Yep. Oh, this. This is beautiful. Hatred from yeah. Twitter just because I touched some. I put. I what? logged in another place. You wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You. No, I was trying to. I was trying to say like I touched it where it would uh go onto my browser. <gasps> okay. Excuse you logged me? out. You logged out. So all I heard was Twitter and just you saying, "Well, I touched." <laughs> So, <laughs> I touched my phone to say that I'm not I'm not hacked. I am on my Twitter. Everything is Ex fine. Oh my God. Excuse me? Excuse I me? Who was this? I thought Kitty was getting canceled on Twitter. Okay, there is a new there who, who is this? There is a new YouTube account called Hey It's Kit. Yo, what? It's called Hey It's Kit. It says it's a two minute and fifty second video, and uh, it says this video make you happy. And then the, the first upload was two days ago. Well, time to sue. Pop, get your briefcase. I already have it. Good. You briefcase legally is, have to sue them. The briefcase is just full of snacks. What oh no, in the dog. world? No, no, they don't got spaces in their name. They're cool. Wait a <laughs> minute. The... But we That's invented a... Hey It's Kit. We? We? Yeah, it's all acne videos. It's called... I looked at Hey It's Kit and it's all acne videos. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Beach Trailer. Lola Bunny hits bu Bugs Bunny. How neat. Man. Huh. Ooh, Pico Day is uh, gonna be in May this year. What day? Ooh. What? Pico Day. Pico, the mascot of Newgrounds, that orange-haired kid that's making it popular because of the beepy boop song game. Gendy, repeating what you just said, like, like when we're like, what is that? Repeating what it is does not explain what it is, woman. Sort of. Hold on, hold anyway, on. I'll send you a picture Gendy. of Pico. At this point, I'm just bullying Gendy. Bully Gendy. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him pull again, do you? It all started him. from a Flash game in 1999 that would basically change the way of Flash games forever. You got an uh -huh. orange-haired punk kid with a green shirt and a gun who became the face of the 2000's biggest website, Newgrounds. Well, I mean, debatably mm -hmm. one of the biggest, but still... Debate. Oh. Was big. 
You yeah, really good. You, I think YouTube was YouTube bigger. I don't know what YouTube was. YouTube was fun. I miss old YouTube. Yeah. Do you, do you guys miss old YouTube? I miss old YouTube. I I want one of our videos to have unregistered hypercam two. <laughs> also get get um space trans 07 or something like that. You know the in that one. Could we get no. copyright claim for playing that? Because that's the music it's... they used to play to replace copyrighted music. Gindy, it's the music they used to replace copyrighted music. It's not copyrighted music. Why would they replace copyrighted music with other copyrighted music? It, it, it's from the YouTube non-copyrighted YouTube library. What are you... Gindy, I swear to God, I'm going to literally bully you. Do it. You already bully him enough. You already bully him enough. Just do it. Why does my controller smell like static electricity? Smell like it? What? How does well, it you know smell like, like it? Well, have you ever, like, been in, in a room, right, where there's a lot of stack electricity, like with a balloon or something, like, you know, or, like you rub a balloon against your hair? You or maybe you smells? run down the slide. Yeah, yeah, when it just <laughs> has that smell. I want, a, I want a candle that smells like static electricity. Why? Because I like the smell. Why would you want that? Because it's a great conversation piece. People are like, oh, what's that smell? Oh, it's my candle called static electricity. And then it's one of those sparkler candles that you get for your birthday cakes, right? And then it just kind of sparks and then, ah! In the game. I get it spark? Did it spark? I don't know. I'm good. I'm good. At I'm good at Tetris Attack. I destroyed Bay. Pop when we played on. When we play on SA SNES online, I literally destroy him because I grew up playing that game too. And he's like, never played it. Played it. He's like, Puyo Puyo's better. It's like, nah, fam, you're just bad. This one. Ah. My Anyways, conversation I... piece would probably be my three Wii's. What? I, I have three Nintendo three. Wii's. You have too much power, Gindy. I got my third one from my aunt when she heard that I was tinkering with my Wii. Well, I mean, I was tinkering with a Wii that, uh, that a customer donated to the local veteran thrift shop. Veteran thrift shop? What? They're a thrift shop that gives money to veterans. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Never anyway, so the guy, the guy I know, he's like, ah, just the man I wanted to see. And he uh, asks me if I could take a look at a Wii for him. So I walk all the way back home to uh, test it out, hook it up, you know, get everything together. Everything's working fine. He just doesn't have the little bar. The sensor bar? So I, I head back to him and I tell him, you're just missing one sensor bar. So then the next day I uh, go to another thrift shop and I happen to see a sensor bar and I'm like, oh my god, this is the exact part that the other thrift shop needs. And the lady there is like, if you want to, you can have it. And I feel, I feel great because she was nice enough to, nice enough to help me out. So I ran, I went all the way back to the other thrift shop. And I was just there in the nick of time where I helped the guy out getting his uh, Wii all together. I got him the sensor bar. And then when we went to my aunt's, I was telling the story to her. And she's like, well, I do have a Wii that you might want. It's hacked, but we don't really know how it works, so yeah, you can have it. We don't want it. Even if you want to sell it or whatever, we don't mind. She also, yeah. gave me the, she also gave me the gun controller to the power cracker. You know, that thing in the oh. JonTron video. Man, the power know. cracker. What were they thinking there? You know, they had to change the name on the later models. Why? I I don't know. I guess I guess eventually it got to them that, you know, a name like that, that ain't cool. So instead they call it the Power Racer now. And good How lord, the, the, con 
the controller gets worse and worse in quality. It's like an iPhone. But, but I am not paying Discord Nitro just so that I can send one picture. It's dumb how it's, yeah, it's dumb how you have to have to get Discord Nitro um to send emojis in other chats. It's literally just a, a small image. Yeah. I can I can kind of get moving emojis because that's kind of cool, but but why? Twenty fifteen Power Cracker new version. Except we got the one from like twenty fourteen or twenty thirteen. Unleash your ultimate power, the greatest game machine on the planet. I d- it's just a gun. And it says ideal for home entertainment. It's a gun. Just a gun. And believe it or not, this thing broke within a month. We got it at a state fair. Did it have any good games on it? Everything it had was just bootleg NES games with different names and mislabeled titles. Like, what did the gun do? Ah, uh, you could play Duck Hunt with it. Or Hogan's Alley, except it wasn't Hogan's Alley. Was it good emulation? About as good as trying to play these on... About as good as trying to play these on, like, the original Game Boy. Or the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, the sound was messed... The sound was messed up. The missing would... The music would just be missing. And, uh, for whatever reason, some of the titles were removed. Like, you still stole Mario, but you didn't call it Mario. You just called it, like, uh, Mr. Mary. Mr. Mary. Mr. Mary. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite. Uh, Norwegian, Norwegian, uh, everyone's favorite Norwegian engineer. And it promises 76,000 games in one. Well, they they lie about that. It, it, it's literally just 20 games that are repeated. Uh, Let me do the math here. No, no, not even reskin, just repeated. You run out of games. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Except they call uh, Toy Story Circus Charlie or whatever. Circus Charlie? <laughs> if you've Toy seen Story? the JonTron video, it's painfully accurate. Okay, so they, it's the same 20 games that are repeated 3,800 times. Wait, they don't even have the, the same amount of games? They, the advertised amount of games, even though they repeated them 20 times? All, all 20 of them that many times? Yeah. They don't even have them all? Could have at least been done that. Like, if you're gonna be lazy, go go the extra mile. Like, leave the game files in. I don't know, put in the uh, .NES extension on every game. I wonder if there's any, like, plug-and-plays that actually have the amount of games that are there, and they're all unique games within a single repeat. That's impossible. Even the good one, even the good bootlegs, never own up to the no repeat promise. A return. <laughs> we were talking about a. Uh, we were talking about a uh, bootleg uh, consoles. My mother yeah. told me with the proposition. What, what is it? Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so I have a car right now. No. Don't have a license. I don't have a license, but we're getting it. It was a free car. It was a free car from a family friend, and it runs and everything. So that's great. So. There's, there's, this is potentially a plan. So I want a truck, right? My parents, they need a truck to haul stuff, right? So they said, basically, that we could collaborate, right? We, Max, please don't rub your balls on my phone. Okay, let me give context to that. My dog, like, will drop his back legs and just start scooting, right? Just about did that on his, on my phone. I just remembered he got fixed a while, like, a couple of years ago. So he didn't. Sorry, sorry to mock you, but um, <laughs> but uh, basically, I might be getting a truck. So, yeah. Ow! Ooh, nice. my hand. A cyber truck? Yeah. Um, no, we might um, sell my car and put that money towards a truck, because that's cool. My, my car runs everything, so 
it's not like right now, like I don't really need a truck right now. Plus, you know, again, I don't have a license, but it's like a little free car, and so we might sell it for you know get a profit because we put some money into it because we had to fix it because it had some problems. Um, and so we're gonna sell my car, and then we're gonna collaborate and get a truck, like whatever we get out of my car, and then we're both gonna put a little bit of money into that, and then we get a truck. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. So yeah, cars. I'm gonna got my car right now because I gotta start it. So my battery's gonna die again. Ah, I'm not over the key thing again. So are you guys? Pretty mm. good. I have the keep gun keep to a good. power cracker. Wow. Ah, hey, that's just guys. the name of the game system. Oh god, it's so bright. It's so bright out here. Oh my god, it's a little bird. This man's outside. Mm -hmm. I um. So in my trunk, right? Oh, <laughs> actually, I have a story. So my stepdad's car is in the shop right now, right? And um, my car was the only car that we have. So my mom was gonna ride it, and like my stepdad took my mom's car, and my mom rode it. This was the second day. Oh, the first day it was the other way around. And so <laughs> my trunk, I keep a VCR, right? Because you never know when you can use one. You never know when you can use one. My mom's short, right? She couldn't reach the pedals. So she she called me while she was driving it, right? And she said she was sitting on the VCR so she could reach the thing. And I told her, I told you, you never know when you can use a VCR. <laughs> she said, I'm so, so it came in use. And what's cool about the VCR, though, I don't know if it works or not. I haven't tested it. But it's a surround sound VCR. But we don't have the speakers. I'm so upset. I'm still upset about that. That we got rid of the speakers. I would have loved that in my room. What is this? What is this wreck that she put in here? What the heck is that? That's cool. Whatever it is, mine now is my car. I'm taking that. What is it? Some kind of weird wreck. <laughs> I don't know. Some CDs. You want to hear my car horn? I have the most generic car <laughs> horn you'll ever hear in your life. <laughs> The time, the time me and Kit were on voice call. The time me and Kit, like, I like joined a voice call with Kit, and he's like, "Hey, Pop, guess where I am? Hong Kong," and I just died. Yeah, I like, yeah I just Pop, guess where I am? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it killed me. Yeah, I have, I have a really generic car horn. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the sound of 2006 for you. 2006 Chevy Malibu. Ah, uh, 2006. What a time. Mm-hmm. What a wild time. <gasps> mm-hmm. 2007 anyway. had a drink. It would be code red. If <gasps> if the 2000s in general had a drink, it'd be McDonald's Sprite. I tell you, you could. You could put, throw your phone at McDonald's Sprite, and it will charge oh. up all the way. Ah. <laughs> oh, God, it's so bright. <laughs> Pop, you never had what? McDonald's Sprite, have you? I don't know. McDonald's Sprite yeah. just hits a little different. A little? No, McDonald's Sprite hits super different. Mc Mc McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's tea is Sprite. amazing. McDonald's Sprite just—it just—it just—it's unmatched by any other drink in the known universe. McDonald's tea is better than McDonald's Sprite. McDonald's Sprite is—it's—it tastes like TV static. <laughs> it tastes like TV static. Hey guys, like TV static. Hey, how do you know yeah. what TV? Have have you touched? Have you touched your your tongue to a CRT or something as a kid? <laughs> No. And like zap your tongue, and then you you tasted Sprite. Yeah. Oh no, it's because that stuff's strong. You know it. It just really hits different. I don't know, like why it just hits different, but it hits different, man. And it has to be has to be out of that one like, cup. Like I read <laughs> the, like, the um the Dixie like, cups. Everybody's like, oh, that was the 90s. Well, it went, no, it was in the 2000s, too. Swear to God. I actually read somewhere it's something to do with the fact that they uh, chill the syrup and the water. 
My God. Nostalgic, nostalgic snacks. Only 90s kids will remember. It's all 2000 snacks. Like fruit twistables and yogos. I didn't. I didn't know that Trix yogurt existed Trix until yogurt. it was discontinued. I didn't know. It was, I didn't know it was. <laughs> so I never I had it. You mean, you think... I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know it existed until it was discontinued. So like, why to have it? Wild berry red. red. Wild berry red. The mean Gindy. What? <laughs> Gindy watched commercials, and that was a commercial we saw last night. Yeah, I don't get why that was in the curse commercial playlist. That's not curse. Yeah. <laughs> Though I wonder, what's the next big nostalgic 2000s snack that's going to come back? <gasps> Maybe Oreo Cakesters? The heck is that? Boy, we've been over this! We went <laughs> over this a few <laughs> episodes ago! <laughs> we went over Oreo Cakesters ages ago! Whoa, 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 whoa. you see? I, um, I don't know. Wow. Can you just say the best. Okay, if cereal straws could come back, Oreo Cakesters could come back. Cereal straws are a god, send me. Oreo Cakesters is just Oreo cake. Oh, yeah, you sent those. Yeah, the Oreo cake. Yeah. You are when, the Oreo, yeah. when the Oreo thing. I will bestow upon you the ultimate punishment of the 2000s. Playing with a Mad Cat's controller that has the analog stick broke off. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> well, okay, wait, why, why was every time you go to someone's house, they always had. When you like you want to play the game, or whatever. They never had batteries for the the controller. You ever notice that? Like they never had batteries uh -huh. for a second player controller. You know, and it's like, oh, don't you have batteries? No, we don't have any batteries. Can you take out a remote? No, we can't take it out of the remote. You freak! Why? Why do you Just, like what? And then they gave me the then they gave me the controller. And then what is the controller? The freaking the thumbsticks either chewed 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 off or some crappy third party controller. I swear to God. For some reason, I don't know the, how Mad, the Mad Cat's GameCube <laughs> controller had two Z buttons. Um, my, my 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 GameCube controller um, that I have no, I've cut. had what? since like two thousand like two thousand five, and it is the left stick is all wobbly, and the right stick years and years like two thousand seven or something it got it got chewed by the <laughs> um or uh. Our aunt's dog, and I'm surprised that thing still works. It is so old. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this live. Also pre-recorded. I'm gonna make a quesadilla. How? How do you pre-recorded? How do you pre-record pre a quesadilla? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a cooking show with Kit. Welcome to the Kit Cooking Show. It's just. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Kit, kit, kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the pun, the pun, the pun's better in text. All right, so this is what we do. Okay, this is how we're gonna end this podcast today. We're gonna make up a case idea. We're gonna make up a case idea. It's okay, an audio. For, it's wait, an wait, audio wait, wait. Book. First of all, first of all, Gindy, you sent um, a picture of all the Oreo cakesters, and you sh you you sent the uh, peanut butter ones. I straight up thought it was pumpkin spice, and I am ashamed of myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for this tutorial, this is what you're going to need today. You're going to need butter. I'm using Golden Soft. I'm using Kirkland brand, Kirkland brand mozzarella cheese, and then tortillas. I don't know what brand that. It's just when you go in the aisle, you go to you go to the tortilla aisle. You see tortillas. That's the brand you see. So you're going to take a tortilla, right? You're going to take one tortilla. I don't have any tortillas. Whoa! I don't have any tortillas. Some. Okay. What can I use? Can I use a piece of bologna? Some of that pretzel crust, Little Caesars later. Can I okay, can so, I use a can I use a piece of ham? So out of your packaging, you're gonna pull out you're gonna pull out two evenly like around even size tortillas, right? Take some butter, okay? Take some butter on your on your on your on a butter knife, and then you're gonna you know spread it around on the uh, tortilla. You know, uh -huh. it can be as you have as much or as little as you want. This is just gonna make it non-stick, and it's gonna add to the flavor, right? Um. Okay. You're so you're slap it, cooking spray. 
Ah, oh, crap. I just put it onto a burger thing. I thought that was from my quesadillas yesterday. Ah, oh, crap. Forgot I made burgers yesterday. I just, ah, oh, God, this the, is all. You're, te- you're teaching the tutorial and you can't eat it and you do it right? <laughs> I thought I used this one for quesadillas. <laughs> oh, no, it's a burger one. God, I forgot I made burgers. I can't see Okay, let me grab a little pan then. Yeah. I'm using a different pan. Um, I can use myself. Um, it's I left it there because it was hot. I forgot. I was going to get today. I need, a, I need another pan. Okay, I got one. You seen this, okay. Candy? What? Okay, so take your take your quesadilla. You take the tortilla shell, right? Slap it, literally slap it onto your your pan, right? You set the uh, set the, set the oven to about medium, to, in between medium and six. Then you get take some mozzarella, you know, or you can do cheddar, or if you're a heathen, you'll do cheddar, or you can uh, do uh, the the Colby Jack, whatever that is, and a Mexican bl- Mexican bun. Sure. You're gonna get about a handful, get about a handful, spread it around evenly, you know, all over your quesadilla. You know, get as much or as little cheese as you want. You can add whatever you want. We don't judge here. But if you add anything but cheese, I will literally kick you out of my classroom. Can we can, uh, can we can, can we can we add something that isn't cheese? Get out. Get out. But but, no. but Okay. But, you're gonna take your other case. You're gonna take your other You're gonna take Get out of my classroom. <sighs> Father, no. You can learn this on. You can learn this on. You can learn this on. Uh, on on on. Oh God. On Skillshare, yeah. Today's sponsor, <gasps> Skillshare offers thousands of free classes. Um, <laughs> I don't know how it goes. Anyways, spread the butter like you did on the the other one on the other tortilla. Put it on top, and then and there you go. And then you just gotta wait until the cheese is all cooking, and then you have to flip it, and then you flip it until it's golden brown. <laughs> This has been Kit's Kitchen. Please. Ooh. Please, someone, um, someone, please save me. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Apparently, you're canceled. Oh, no. Like, like, yeah, like, like on yeah, Twitter? Your, or? Your, your, your agent just called, and... Like, a, like, like am I canceled Sorry, on Twitter? Sorry, you, you don't even get your 13 episodes. Okay, wait, 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 is the show canceled or am I canceled on Twitter and that resulted in the canceling of the show? Like, what did I do? Kind of a Roseanne situation where basically you're not on the show anymore, but we are, okay? Yeah, you're okay, rebranded. I okay, I see yeah. how it is. I'll just. Okay, fine. I'll just. I'll leave then. I'll fi- fine. I'll leave. I'll leave. Fine. I'll fi- I'll, I'm leaving. Fine. Fine. What are you in the podcast? I'm leaving. Uh, be kind. Well, okay, while Kit gets things together, be kind, rewind, and we'll see you next time.